Hey guys, this is Blessed. Welcome back. And I've got my good friends here, Burn to Burn and Bad Coop. Hello. Hello, how's it going? And uh, we are bringing you a the patch update that happened on January the 9th of 2014 for Rust. And up to this point, Windows have been pretty useless. So they finally added something new. Because who's ever had the problem of crooks jumping through the windows, just like these two guys here, and then looting all your stuff? Now, something that's needed to be brought to this game has finally been brought in, and that is metal bars. Now, the good thing about these metal bars is that they are not very easily destroyed. In fact, um, you end up destroying the uh, window itself before the metal bars get destroyed. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here with some C4. Yeah, but you can actually shoot through these metal bars. Oh yeah, that's true. Point there. Now as you can see, that was already three C4. This is going to be five. <laughs> <laughs> and another point, another point that you need to know is that um, you obviously can't shoot the metal bar itself and hit the person on the other side. You have to shoot in the middle like that. So, um, people have been raided by people building this right here, right outside their base. They'll just put some, put a foundation down, put some pillars up, and then have stairs, and then stair in through the top of your your uh, uh, base. Sorry about that. And the only way to get around them doing that is to build something like this, where you have, you know. Uh, your foundations come really far out, and then you have these pillars throughout every middle piece, every place that you can place it. And that prevents them from being able to do just that, what is going to happen right here. Now, you can also put the metal bars in a wooden window. And let's go ahead and do that. So, you have that extra little bit of security. Now, obviously, everybody knows that if somebody has a wooden house with... A wooden window, it's not going to be near as secure as what metal is. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and test this out right here. Let's try blowing out just the bars. That's the C4 right there. Okay, nothing. So let's just go ahead and put it on the wall or on the window itself. So Added security is something that they really needed to have done. Uh, the research kits no longer require paper now. And as you can see down here, um, each of these research kits that I spawned in has um, number values between 1 and 3. That's how many times you can use that research kit before it is used up. So, And that brings me to my next point, which is... The revolver. Now you can no longer automatically be able to craft the 9mm. You have to learn that in a blueprint. And as you can see here, let me find it. My revolver. Weapons. The revolver is costs you 60 wood, uh, 10 cloth, and 80 metal fragments. So you don't even have to have a low quality metal for this. And the damage is actually pretty good. It's uh, 29, the recoil is 10, and the range is 80. So it's a little bit of a diversification from what the 9mm was. As far as being able to start off with that early on in the game, you know, you had to actually craft a furnace to be able to get the low-quality metal unless you just found the low-quality metal. So one last thing that I wanted to mention. Um, they had quite a few uh, fixes in this patch as well as far as what people were using to exploit and cheat with, with the no clipping and things like that. I'm going to have a, uh, a description of what the change log was in this patch in the description down below. So feel free to leave a comment. And if you like the video, make sure that you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thanks for joining me, guys. And we'll catch you next time. See you later. How about?